this is what you want a hot hatch to feel like. You want it to feel exciting and fun and just... Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack and this is my YouTube channel, Life in Motion. Now, this is the Hyundai i20N. It's in performance blue. It's got just over 200 brake horsepower and goes from 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds. That's hot hatch fast. That's John Cooper works fast. Now, today's video is all about this little car. Hyundai have very kindly given me the keys to this car and said, go out and see what you think. So that's what I'm gonna do. In the video, I'm gonna go around the outside, the inside, go for a drive and talk performance in the hope that I can find out whether this car is really worth the money. Let's go. So let's start with the front of the i20N. As I said, this is performance blue, which I think is one of the best colors you get on the Piano range. And it's got the i20, so let's go through it. You've got little scoops in here, little air intakes. You've also got a nice gloss black grill at the front. You've got a nice pinstripe blue all the way in front, which looks cool. You've got these nice bonnet stripes as well. I think it's a nice aggressive car. I think the hat hatches need to look aggressive they need to look like they're eager like they're ready to go and this car definitely does again performance blue i just think yeah i think it's spot on as we move down the side we've got these lovely alloys the 18 inch and also got red brake calipers which always look nice they've got a little n badge on the caliper down the side we've got the red side skirts again look cool again all looks nice bit of contrasting here contrasting mirrors as well and also you've got a little n badge down the side Contrasting black roof. I like contrasting things. I had that, that Mini John Cooper works and it had contrasting roof to it. Look cool. I just think they look nice. It almost helps with the profile. The lines also look great. And you know, down the sides, you can see these lines. They follow the curves nicely. They give it a nice angular look. Again, it's all about aggressive. Spoiler. Now, yes, I mean, it doesn't need a spoiler. It's a front wheel drive car, but who cares? It looks good. I think, again, it's all gloss black, so it's quite subtle, but it's got nice angles to it. The John Cooper works had a, um, a nice sort of spoiler, but it wasn't as angular as this one. I preferred this one. I think it looks great. And at the back of the car, you've got a nice light bar to start with. I always like lights on cars. They just look really cool. Again, we've got the spoiler. The nice contrast. You've got privacy glass. You've got the black, black, but then you've got the performance blue as well i20n the note badge to denote that it's the i20n the sporty one nice exhaust with a valve in it we like a loud exhaust on the channel obviously i like this one and a nice little aggressive spoiler as well it's almost got that kind of rally formula one little kind of fog brake light in there which looks obviously cool um but yeah we've got nice splitter and i like again angles i like things like aggressive and you know i think this is great so i like the outside what do you guys think comment below what you think of the outside but now let's jump in let's have a look and see what we think so let's jump in and see what we think of this car on the inside so Number one thing is build quality. First of all, you're gonna to start to feel things, touch things, use things. You wanna make sure it feels nice and it's a good quality. Now, my Mini I had, the John Cooper Works, was so plasticky. It is not a cheap car. That car, brand new, was over 32,000 pound. But in here, everything feels solid. Nothing's like falling off. I'm amazed. I mean, I'm actually trying to, I don't know if you can hear this, look, nothing is, and I don't want to snap it off, nothing is making a, you know, a, a rubbishy kind of plasticky creaky sound. The steering feel is leather wrapped, that feels lovely. All the door switches and things, they, you know, yes, they might not be the sexiest thing in the world, but they all feel nice, they look good. Heated steering wheel, heated seats. I mean, yeah, I'm amazed at this car, I really am. So, Obviously, when you get into the car, you're going to notice one thing straight away, and that is going to be the seat. Now, on a hot hatch, what do we think? I think buckets, kind of like kind of hugged seats. I want to kind of feel secure. Not that it's cutting into me and it's, not un it's uncomfortable, but I want it to feel nice. Again, I like a good steering wheel. I like a virtual display. Now, obviously, the i20N has been updated, and it's now got a virtual cockpit, a virtual screen, and it looks great. 
In the middle, we've also got a touchscreen as well, so we can use that for things like, you know, your mav, nav, media, radio, all your bits and bobs, put your phone on there. In the middle, we finally got manual buttons. Now, I, I might sound like a bit of an old person, but I really like manual buttons. Big thing, I like to look ahead on the road. I will mu muscle memory learn where the buttons are, and then I just have to press them, so I don't have to look. It's just a little bit more dangerous if you've got to kind of fiddle with touch screens and, and all that kind of stuff, so that's really good news. Following down, I mean, this car's full up. It's got everything on it. As I said, heating steering wheel, heated seats, rear view camera, climate control, Bluetooth, nav, the whole works. It's, everything's in here. Up here, we've got the SOS button as well, so you can call that 24 by 7, 365, all year round, call that. If you have an accident, the airbags go off, that will automatically do it for you. If you, you know, you involve your unconscious, that will do it for you. I mean, there's nothing in here that's that's that you're missing. You know, you've got USB charging ports, 12 volt socket for your phones and things. Nothing in it. I mean, look, glove boxes and things. You know, you've got everything. I mean, I've got a water bottle in the side there, which is again courtesy of Hyundai, and um, yeah, that fits perfectly in there. You got your Bose surround sound system in here for good music. I mean. <laughs> I'm pretty amazed, to be honest. So let's really get into this interior and see kind of what it's like to use. So in front of me, I've got a virtual cockpit. I've got various different modes that I can use. If I press this little button, I can flick through different screens, different displays. Um, but I've also got lots of different things I can do from the steering wheel. Things like um, my go through my radio, I can answer and end calls, um, volume, all that kind of stuff, cruise control that, that works. I've also got voice activation, which I never really use voice activation. Don't know if you guys do. I've just pressed it. Hello. Sorry. Not good. Um, but it's really clear. It gives me all my information I want. And yeah, it looks absolutely fine. You know, it's not the best out there. You know, things like the, the Audi systems, uh, some of the Mercedes ones are pretty outstanding. It's going to be tough to kind of to, to, to weigh up to those. But for the package that it is, no, it's absolutely perfect. Move on to the middle one. Well, we've got a really nice touchscreen system. It's intuitive, it's easy to use, it's got a nice display on it, so it's pretty simple. Now, it's actually pretty responsive as well. One of my pet peeves, when you jump into a car and you realize that actually the screen is super laggy, we're all used to scrolling our iPhones and you know all those kind of phones, and flicking through, they're so quick. So when you jump in the car, you kind of expect the same thing your car to do than you know your phone and actually it's very very good indeed just going to jump back to the steering for a second you've got these n badges and a rev button now rev gives you rev matching i've never had that in the car that's super freaking awesome you've also got these little n badges as well which go through and they give you different modes as well so have like preset modes that you can define it changes the screen when you press the n button and you have like custom modes um you can change things like engine steering um look in front of you you've got now got a single uh, central rev counter which looks good and you've got things like oil temperature engine temperature tire pressures i mean things you might not want need in a hot hatch on the day-to-day -day commute but it's still pretty awesome isn't it right and so if we move hello to the back of the car what have we got well we've got fabric seats and a bit of leather which is you know is absolutely fine you've got reasonable leg room which is okay i'll jump in in a second you've also got a usb slot in the middle so your passengers can charge your phones now this is in the driving position that i would drive in and actually you can see plenty of knee room which is nice headroom I mean, loads of headroom. This is not a big car, remember? Yes, it's a five door, so you got a bit more easy access in and out, but it's not a big car. And it was really, really nice. You have got three seats at the back. Whether you'd want to use that, I mean, obviously, if you need to in an emergency, it's fine, but I'd probably just go for like a two plus two, just a little bit easier. And, hello again. If we jump to the, oh Christ, to the back of the car, to the boot, let's have a little wee look. Okay, not too bad. It's quite high. Oh, okay, there is a lip down, so you can put that. Yeah, I think you can You can probably, can you slide that down? Yeah, there you go. You can slide it down, so you've got a deeper boot. Not bad at all. Looks all right. I mean, you can put the back seats down as well if you want to put in, like, a bike or something like that. But, yeah, fits all right. Oh, forget that. Um, fits all right, doesn't it? So, I think it's time to take the i20N out for a drive and see what it's like on the move. Let's go.
So, let's start this puppy up. I'm going to pop it straight into end mode because I want to find out straight away what this 204 PS 1.6 turbocharged engine is like to drive. So let's head out onto some twisty roads and find out. So I mentioned this car with its 1.6 litre turbocharged engine goes from 0 to 62 oh, in 6.7 seconds. It's got a six speed manual gearbox and oh, oh it's so fun. Oh, God, I love a manual on a hot hatch. It just feels so much better. Now, I say hot hatch, this car isn't a big car. Um, so I guess, what is it? Like a city hot hatch? With performance like 6.7 seconds to 62, 204 PS from a 1.6. Because it's light, it's up there with, as I said, the John Cooper works to 500 a bath. So I guess this is a hot hatch, just it's in a city car format. I'm just gonna slow down just for a moment because I wanna have a little chat about ride. So in my opinion, when you're having, you're buying kind of a hot hatch kind of car, there's a couple of things you want. You want it to feel stiff and agile and light and nimble. But you also don't want it to be bouncing you around all day because it will just make driving day to day really difficult. Now, fortunately, the i20N doesn't feel horrendous. It doesn't feel like it's bouncing you up and down all the time. The seats do a nice job, as I said, but suspension is a really nice setup. It doesn't feel too firm. Now, it's on some bigger wheels and low profile tyres, so it's, you know, round town, which I am now. It's going to be a little bit bumpy, you know, I'm just going over some potholes. But then again, it's not that bad. I remember the John Cooper works being a little bit more stiff than this. So yeah, it's all right. Now I'm in a small little cute town at the moment and it doesn't feel too big at all. It feels nice and small in the town. The wing mirrors are nice. The rear view mirror is nice and big. The back windscreen, I can see lots out of, which is nice. Visibility is good. It is, as I said, it's kind of like a a little city car, so it's gonna be pretty good. The blind spots aren't bad at all. It does also look very nice in the rear view mirror. Now I'm gonna say something a little bit controversial, and it's this. I've been driving the Hyundai i20N today for probably about half an hour now, and while we're there, a massive, massive thank you to Hyundai for inviting me down today to drive a couple of their cars. I'm also driving a Hyundai i30N and also the Ionic 5, their electric car. So check out those videos uh, to come very, very soon. But yeah, something controversial. I drove the i30N for about 40 minutes or so. Quicker, it's louder, manual gearbox, it's potentially you know, a better car. I think I'm preferring this little i20N. I. It's just, it's just, I don't know, it's, you know, I'm sure you guys know what it feels like when you have like a, not a massively powered car, they just feel fun, they just much more, I don't know, chuckable, you just, you feel like you can enjoy them more, and let's be honest, on the day to day, anything above kind of like 200, 250 horsepower, and it's like, actually, that's a lot of power to take and drive on the road, and let's be honest, the last thing I want you guys to do is, is bin it into a hedge or a tree, so, Having an underpowered, well, say underpowered, having a 200 horsepower manual car around six, seven seconds to 60, it's really, really attractive. So next on the agenda is the way that the car performs. Now, as I said, it's got a six speed manual to a 1.6 turbocharged engine developing 204 PS and going for a 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds. All oh, this is a nice little road. And the gearbox is brilliant. Really, really nice. It's short, it's easy, it snaps into gear nicely. The clutch is a nice height, it just, the biting point's not nasty, it feels good. All in all, it just, it feels like a really nice package. Here we go, let me just put the foot down. Come on, baby. Yeah, it just off the lights, it just feels good. Rev matching's good as well. It's just on the change downs, it just, just blops that little, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. I'm enjoying this car a lot. It's good news. 
Right, I'm going round town, so I'm going to pop it into normal mode and talk to you about all things eco. So, being a 1.6 turbocharged petrol engine, it's not bad on fuel. I've averaged right now 34.6 miles per gallon, but I have been driving like a bit of a prat. So it's probably not going to be that bad on the day to day. I'm following a cyclist, which means one thing. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to hit him off. Come on. Yeah, saving the planet. I get it. Yes, look around. You can see me at lunchtime on a Wednesday on your bike. Here we go. I'm going for an overtake on the bike. Foot down. <laughs> yeah, it feels awesome. You no, know, a little bit of lag at the beginning, but you know, once it kicks in, it you know really builds that power, and you can feel it. Not a massive amount of wheel spin either. One thing on the the John Cooper works, we just kept spinning its wheels quite a lot. So it doesn't do that. Um, other things to note: a little bit loud wind noise, quite a lot of it. I don't know if it's tire noise or wind noise, but you know, accumulative. It's just there's a little bit of noise around there. So maybe if you're going on the motorway, 70 miles an hour, 75, whatever you do might be a little bit loud worth taking for a test drive and finding out for yourself but yeah a little bit of noise go on yes 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 oh this is nice see this is when you can really enjoy a little hot hatch twisty hill climb roads listen to that little tight hairpin yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, turning circles good. Flat out. Come on, baby. There you go. Yeah, it's having. F- it is fun. Oh, yes. This is what you want a hot hatch to feel like. You want it to feel exciting and fun and just. Oh, and it just wants to just. It wants you just to drive fast, and that's what I love. I really like this car, and this 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 car is making me enjoy driving, and I just. God, every day you forget how fun it is just to get out there and drive your car. And it brings back that sense of excitement and eagerness that you want from a hot hatch. And a lot of the cars nowadays, they're so refined and so quick that actually this kind of feels a little bit like, I don't know, hot hatches from 10 years ago, if you know what I mean. That kind of like simplicity. Yes, you've got virtual screens and touch screens and heat steering wheels and, and reversing cameras, but really... It feels simple. It just feels like what you want a hot hatch to feel like. Guys, make sure to like the video. Make sure to comment below what you thought of the car. Would you buy one? Do you think there's another car that's better? Do you think this is better than other cars? Just comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are. And I'm going to be doing a couple of cars today, so make sure to subscribe to the channel because there are going to be lots of more future videos to come. But for now, I'll see you very, very soon.